Okay, I've been working on a carburetor. It keeps flooding. Gas just pours on out of it. I rebuilt the carburetor. And it's even worse than before. Everyone tells me to check the float, replace the float. Uh, Tecumseh dealers or parts dealers are pretty few and far between my neck of the woods. I haven't really found one yet. I drove 100 miles to Delaware and got some parts there. But I'm going to do another test that I just read about, which is submerging the float in hot water. If you take a float and submerge it in hot water, the heat will cause the, any whatever air inside to expand and pressurize. And if there's a pinhole leak, you should see a stream of bubbles. Uh, obviously, you can see that the water is boiling right now. Too many bubbles to see, so I'm going to turn the burner off, and boiling should stop pretty quickly. And then I'm going to pick up the float and submerge it in the water. As an additional, um, as a, a little bit of oomph to the test, I have the float sitting in the freezer, and so I'm going to pull it out with pliers, plunge into the water as quick as I can after the boiling stops. So here we go. Boiling is very nearly done. Almost. Okay, we are at 212. Here's the cold float, and we'll go ahead and plunk it on in. Down at the bottom. Apparently, I chose a dirty pan for this. But I can't tell if the bubbles are just more boiling or uh, I think it's just in the bottom of the pan. Yeah. Well, I don't see anything, and it certainly floats. I don't know. That's water, gasoline. I think it'll float a little bit prouder. I don't know, a little bit lower because gasoline is less dense than water. So for an equal weight, you'll get uh, more liquid displaced. I don't know. What do you think?